Hello everyone. In the previous video, we covered chapter 3 of your science syllabus, the digestive and the excretory system. Today, in this video, I will be giving you some exercise questions based on that chapter. First, we have answered the following questions. The first question is, name the different organs of the digestive system. If you recall back to that video, the previous video, where we discussed the digestive system with the diagram, the names of all the different organs are written over there. So you can get your answer from that part of the video. So question number two is define digestion. If you recall, in the beginning of the video, there is a part where we where there is a slide where we discuss digestion. So you will get your answer over there. What are the different organs of the excretory system? Once more, the part of the video where we discuss the excretory system along with the diagram, you will get all the different organs, the names of all the organs in that part. Which organ forms urine? If you go through the uh, functions of each of the organs of the excretory system, you will get your answer over there. Write down three healthy food habits. Uh, in the Towards the end of the video, I gave you some healthy food habits that we should follow every day. You can choose any three from there and write down. You could choose the easy, simplest ones so that is easier for you to memorize and write down the answer. Next we have write down one function of the following organs. So there are four organs here, urinary bladder, liver, lungs and large intestine. If you go through the functions of these particular organs in throughout the video, you will get at least two functions of each of the organs. So you have to write down only one. So with this we come to the end of the question answers. Now let's move on to the next question. Name the following. Name the following is a very fun exercise. We have sentences over here which are like clues and you have to write down the answers in one word. I always like to add name the following at the end of each chapter because I have seen that your students quite enjoy solving these type of questions. So let's start with the questions. Number one, di digestion starts here. I will be giving you the answers here as I read out all the questions and I hope that when you write them down in your notebook, you will try to solve them yourself first. Digestion starts here. The answer is, if you recall properly, it's mouth. Question number two, the most common cause of constipation. This is easy, dehydration. Question number three, the process by which waste is removed from our body. This is basically the definition of, I hope you remember it, excretion. Digestion ends here. The process of digestion pro clearly ends in the small intestine. The food pipe is also called this. This is an easy answer, but the spelling is difficult. So I hope you memorize it properly. Esophagus. Question number six, this organ removes excess fat and cholesterol from the body. This is the function of the liver. And question number seven, no digestion takes place in this organ. The answer to this is the food pipe. I have written down all the answers for you here so that you can uh, check with it later on. And But once again, I suggest that you write down the questions in your copy and try to solve them yourself once. Next, I have a do-it-yourself question for you. Do-it-yourself is basically for you to try yourself. So I won't be giving the answers to the do-it-yourself questions. And these questions are very simple. You have to draw the digestive system and label the different parts. And you have to draw the excretory system and label the different parts. It is important that you memorize the uh, diagram properly and then draw it because it might be useful for you as uh, it might come in as a question in your examination. You can use colors in the diagram. I would suggest using light shades or pencil colors so that it does not look too dark or dirty. And do not forget to label the parts. That is very important. Here in these two slides, I have given the answers to the questions that we have in the previous slides from questions one to six. I hope you enjoyed this chapter. That's all for today. Thank you.